Hello everyone, it is Rotrex Productions, and I'm making a Dinosaur Island episode, episode 5 of Season 2 episode. Now you're probably wondering, where are we? The grasslands aren't really on that other side of the island. Well, because we are on the other side of the island. This is the west side of the island. A place with many predators, but it's a pretty good place to live in. If you're a high-class creature, that is. But if you're something like a, you know, Gallimimus, uh, this might not be the best place for you to go to. Anyway, let's just jump into the video. For this time, this time we're going to be focusing mainly on the life of a Ceratosaur. Because Ceratosaurs are very hard to spot on this island. And they are very interesting animals. We're gonna go through the life cycle of a Ceratosaur. Let's begin. <coughs> this is a male Ceratosaurus. It is currently walking in the lands that we call the grasslands. <laughs> it is searching for any possible But it doesn't seem to have much luck. <laughs> Trying to get its way through the grass. It is very thick. <laughs> it is getting impatient. It had just it had just woke up, and it's trying to look for something that we'd call breakfast. But it doesn't seem to have much luck. However, things may take a change. It can be for the worst or for the best. Just find out right now. Over here we see a Gallimimus feeding on a small shrub. It is very hungry. Wow, it is devouring that thing. With his belly full, it is deciding to wander off, but decides to take a one last bite before it goes. However, this thing is being stopped by not one, but two creatures. It is a juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is eyeing the Gallimimus. It's gonna go in for the kill. Except it notices something else. It sees that he's not the only one who's stalking this prey. <laughs> for all this commotion and roaring, is alerting the Gallimimus of their location. quickly runs off. <laughs> Rex notices that the Gallimimus ran away and quickly charges after the Ceratosaur. <laughs> and quickly starts running. <laughs> nice! <laughs> With the T-Rex quite literally on his tail, we have no hope for this T-Rex. For this Ceratosaurus, sorry. <laughs> when suddenly... <laughs> it has gotten itself in, this ho in a hole and it's stuck. It tries to wriggle its way out, but it's only making things worse. <laughs> the Ceratosaurus notices this and takes advantage of it. <laughs> It runs off, knowing that the T-Rex's fate will be sealed. You, you see, the T-Rex is roaring out for help. <laughs> but it's only dragging more attention. That made that giant foot stomp is a thing that is one of the creatures that can literally make all the T-Rexes go extinct.
This is not a Dimetrodon, no. But it is a Spinosaurus. <laughs> it is eyeing the T-Rex and decides to go in for the kill. <laughs> With the T-Rex already stuck, he lets the Spinosaur do the bid. <laughs> It is devouring the T-Rex whole. This is truly a gory scene. The Ceratosaur notices what a mess the Spinosaur is making of the T-Rex and decides to back off as it knows the Spinosaur will kill him if it gets close to his meal. Meanwhile, over by the soily type area, we see the Gallimimus trying to pick out any trying to pick out or find any water that is trapped underground. It is not having much luck, but considering that it had rained, it might just find it. However, something big is stalking it. And that creature is a Ceratosaurus. Without even thinking, it charges right at it. <laughs> <laughs> It is a direct hit to the neck. It begins feasting on its meal. The Ceratosaur roars in victory because it has survived another day on Dinosaur Island. Ah!